I really wish I would have known the names of some of these fallacies before. Um, or realize some of the power of the words before. I wish I wouldn't have been scared to call people out on making an emotional argument when that's exactly what they're doing. And I think it's funny that for so long a lot of people have considered me as someone who makes emotional arguments. Even though I'm, I've generally been very rational and logical about my arguments. One of the most recent, well, the most recent thing being the subject about um, comparing lithium being put in the water versus uh, uh, fluoride being put in the water. And I get told that I'm making ridiculous arguments and these are from people that didn't even actually watch the video and they did, refused to look at the links. One person said, well, I don't need to look at your links to know that your, your argument is stupid. Hmm. Nice. There are a number of subjects out there that you're supposed to have a certain opinion because that's the liberal thing to do. And fluoride is one of those things. Another one is... If you're pro-choice, you're supposed to argue that it isn't really a baby unless it's developed, either developed a certain amount or until it's actually born. I just, I'm like, that is, that's an emotional argument. Well, no, it isn't yet. Yeah, it is. You are unwilling to look at the reality of a situation. So you'll say something out of the emotion that uh, of you not being able to see this. Okay? A woman has the right to remove something anyone has the right to remove something that's growing inside them whether or not it's a uh, it's a tumor uh, just some sort of growth in general and or whether it's another human being we should have the right to have something removed that's growing inside of us and if you want to take it a bit further we should have the re if someone hates their hand and they've got the money i mean they should be able to have their hand removed if they want i mean just whatever their body But, you know, if it's something that's growing inside somebody, um, and especially if what's growing inside them could damage them, hurt them, or even kill them, uh, or if the reason why that's there is because someone was raped, um, yeah, I think, I think tax dollars should be able to go to it, to having that removed. But that's still a baby. You can label it a fetus, but that's pretty much using the same logic that people do in a time of war to declare their enemy as not really human. It's the same kind of logic. It's not really logical. It's, it's an attempt to... It's an appeal to emotion. They can't handle looking at the reality of something, so they'll make some sort of bullshit argument in order to avoid the emotions associated with what is actually being done. Now, maybe I have that term wrong. Maybe that's another term. Maybe that's another, uh, uh, some sort of other fallacy. But, uh, um, let's see, another one. Uh, A, uh, another shooting happens, and some people's response is that we just need to ban guns. Yeah. Um, another p appeal to emotion. You know, 
Uh, you don't want to look at the reality of things, so you just make this blanket statement. And a lot of people will try to shove forth that it's always the right. It's always, you know, conservatives or Republicans or libertarians who will make emotional arguments. I'll subtract the libertarians thing because I know that people will call me out on that for some... If there's a few things people could call me out on that, so I'll leave the libertarians thing out of that. Um, but it comes from the left a lot too. A lot. A lot more than we'd like to think. It's why the left is for so much censorship of things based off of, oh, well, this might offend somebody. <laughs> Same sort of shit. So, you know, I do get, it does get really old when I get told that I'm being emotion, I'm, I'm appealing to emotion simply because I get passionate about a subject. I think that's really lame. Being passionate about something is not some appeal to emotion. Just because someone's passionate about something doesn't mean that they are no longer rational or logical. Even if someone blows up, it doesn't mean that they're not logical or rational in their arguments. Just because someone makes some generalizations in order to make a point, that doesn't mean that they're being irrational or illogical. And that sort of attitude does get very, very old. And my neck is getting very, very hot. And I'm going to end the video now.